Hey, I'm Ronnie and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be sharing my experiences from the Czech Republic, which I am actually really excited about because this was one of my favorite countries I traveled to in Europe over last summer. So if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell down below so that you can be notified when I post more travel videos. So with all that being said, let's get into it. The first thing I wrote in my journal was actually about how the Czech Republic was the most beautiful place I'd ever been and this was honestly the truth. The buildings were just really awesome to see and I don't know, there's just something about it that I really liked and I definitely recommend it as a place to go to. Not only that, we also had a lot of awesome ministry opportunities. so. Uh, just one of the conversations that I had was with a couple, so it was the husband and wife, and uh, the husband, he said that he was Taliban, and the wife said that she was Muslim growing up, but they both had turned away from these and weren't really pursuing any religion at the time. So they were actually interested in hearing what we had to say. They weren't necessarily ready to like commit to what we believe, which I was fine with and I completely understood. But they were really respectful and just listening to what we had to say. And then there was a, another group on our team that had talked to a group of four people that were about my age and they were actually able to bring all of them to Christ. And that was really awesome to hear and that was like one of the first big God moments that all of our team had seen. and. We were just all super excited and we all celebrated with them after the night. So if you watch any of my previous videos, you'll know that all the countries that I'm posting from are on a mission trip that I went to last summer, but I'm just now finally getting out videos about them, which I'm really excited about. And so at about this point in the trip in the Czech Republic, since we were only there a few days, it was just around this time range that I remember feeling especially just like frustrated and my body just felt fatigued just with everything because we were walking a lot each day and there were a lot of like annoyances and little frustrations on the team and also I just felt like my hygiene wasn't the best because 
our shower situation was hard with a big group and like meals it was just hard because we were constantly eating the same thing and they weren't the most nutritious necessarily or the most filling so that was hard but I remember to kind of combat this I was given a note from my boyfriend actually before leaving and I just like continually reread this note and this helped a lot and I think just I had pictures um, that my family had given me beforehand so I would just like look through those and just other notes that I had been given and also just spending a lot of time in prayer because I knew that I couldn't alone get away from this selfishness I was feeling and just I had a big focus on myself and not the reason I was there in the first place at this point so this was a great time to be able to refocus my mind and kind of get back to the reason I was there and just remember that I only had so many days there and I needed to make the most of them. Up until this point the trip was flying by so I knew that the rest of it would probably go by fast so I really had to make the most of it and just not let those little things just overtake me and just kind of take me away from the reason I was there in the first place because this is exactly what Satan tries to do and he tries to put all these little frustrations and just cause chaos within our team and make it harder for us to minister to the people we're there for so I had to remember that I needed to continually push myself and not be afraid to be uncomfortable and stuff in this situation because otherwise I was not going to grow in my faith and I was not going to be able to help others grow in their faith on the team. So we actually ended our time in Prague doing a little bit more sightseeing. So we saw the Royal Castle, the Senate building, spent time around the old town square I believe is what it's called and one of the most anticlimactic events or experiences I guess was seeing the big astronomical clock because literally millions of tourists come there a year and I was expecting this big thing to happen like right on the hour and it really didn't like there was little stuff up in the clock that would spin and like move but it was not something that I necessarily would have been disappointed not seeing because it really didn't do that much, but I'm still really glad I was able to have the experience, obviously, and be able to be in Prague. So thank you so much for watching this video, and if you're one of those people that have supported me in any way or encouraged me in raising my support for St. Baldrick's, thank you so much. As a result, we've raised almost $350 already, and my goal was $100, so... Thank you for everyone that's helped me with that, and I actually raised my goal to 500, so let's see if we can do that before March 1st, and I'll leave a link down in the description where you can donate if you'd like, or just check out my page and see what St. Baldrick's is about. Please like this video if you liked it, and feel free to check out some of my other videos. I know anyone that's interested in European culture might like some of my other Europe videos that I've been posting. Subscribe and also comment if you have any video suggestions because I'm always willing to look into those. Obviously I'm not the most qualified I'd feel but I'd like to address any questions that people have and also comment your favorite places to travel down below because I'm itching to travel again and I'd definitely like to know where you guys like visiting so that maybe I can check them out. We'll see but Regardless, I love you all, and thank you so much for watching this video. Again, I know I say that a lot, but I really am appreciative, so I hope to see you in the next video.